Thank you. Uh, welcome to a wonderful director and also a writer who's been on the scene in the world of Bollywood for a very, very long time. Tushar Irandani, welcome to Like a Radio and Like a Gold. How are you? Very good. I'm at the moment on top of the world because the reviews in India are out. People have seen it already and it's great. People have, a lot of other friends and family have seen it and it's very overwhelming kind of response that we are getting for Shri Khan. I imagine it to be really nice, but this is over, over, even over that. So it's crazy. You have an interesting story uh, about trying to get Srikanth Bola in, you know, the real one to come, you know, to make his uh, biography. Uh, would you like to tell our, our listeners and our viewers what was the story behind this? It's really interesting. So I have this company, Ruby. It's run by my wife. It's called Chalk and Cheese. We are the producers of the film also with T series. And yeah. uh, Nidhi is Nidhi loves so Nidhi is, is very on like she is she like keeps on researching on Google and she keeps on finding these ideas and yeah. she makes this story when she finds it. For example, when she found she can't story and she'd write whatever the interesting things that are there. And then she narrates it to me. And if I cry or if I laugh, so I easily cry and I easily laugh. But if, bodily, <laughs> if that happens, then I go ahead and make the film. I'm very sure because I have to react bodily. Then only I get confidence. I just don't say that, oh, this is big. That doesn't okay. matter. So, see, we, I make films about unsung heroes that no one knows about. Yes, but True. after after the, the movie is released, everyone should know about them. That's my aim. So it's just the fun of it. And that's a beautiful way to actually make films because, um, you know, people, we I didn't know about him until, you know, until we started yeah. seeing the trailer, which was beautiful. Um, and then trying to, um, you know, see the acting, that's, especially Rajkumar Rao. I mean, he, he was the only one who could do it, really, couldn't he? Yeah. There was no, there there was no, no other person. No, no, no chance. <laughs> you know, when you're talking about Srikanth Bola, visually uh, impaired um, person here who's made it huge in the industry, so now I'm thinking to myself, you're making a film on this person. Um, I automatically thinking, or the mind automatically thinks that will be a huge struggle. How are you going to even reach that far? Was it a struggle? No, I tell you what. So I always make films, like I said, about unsung heroes. So me and Nidhi go and meet the person. We try to get in touch. Yeah, it was a struggle to get in touch with him because he's very busy. He used to not give us the time. It took me almost, in fact, I wanted to make this as my first film. I never got in touch with him till I met. Then I had to catch his partner, Ravi Manta. And luckily, yeah. he was in the US and he came down in India. And he was gracious enough to make me meet him. And when I met him, he said he's already given the rights. And he had given it to Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra. I said, what? I reached in Hyderabad and he said he's already given the rights. And I was like, I don't send to Rakesh, sir, which is such a big director. So I thought, yeah, yeah and it's gone. But then I met Srikanth. I said, still, let me meet him. So we stayed back and I met him. And for three days, I spent time with him. He got impressed by me and we requested Rakesh sir to give it to me. And he <laughs> gave it to me and just fell in place. So uh, my entire thing is when I meet these people, I uh, it's like I tell them, please tell me what what's your life like? What does it mean? So they usually open up to around 60, 50, 60%. They tell yeah. you about their life and this. And what is the interesting part? But obviously, that I tape, which is already there on Google. It's yeah. nothing he's telling me no. But I try to friend, become friendly. Then I go back again. Then I go without Nidhi. Then I somehow, like a lawyer comes and tells you, you need to tell me everything. For you. <laughs> right. So I go and ask him that. And when I again, it's a process. And then he tells me about his flaws too. I try to get, because I believe a biopic has to be entertaining. It has to be yeah. honest. It has to be move you. You know the positive sides, but they are, they are, they are humans at the moment. They're not gods. And just by adding the flaws, and it just makes it real and makes them equal. Then you believe that they are right. Yeah. Because you, to this extent, you almost make them like heroes and gods. Because we all know heroes are fictitious. We create them. And these are real life heroes. So I have to show the bad part also. So that's what makes Srikanth a great story. Because when I met Srikanth and then I told him, he completely told me his flaws. That yes, it went to his head. He went mad once he became a business, became an industry. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's how well in the film. So it's it's as real and as human as and as equal as you and me. So that's what it is. So that's why and I want to enjoy myself. I when yes. I I want to entertain people. Background is like he's like Rajni Khan is there. It's like a, because based in Hyderabad, so the background is that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a complete film. 
but initially he wasn't talking to you, right? I I read that too as well. Yeah, he did. I Jeremy is like I was saying I'm from NDTV, I'm from BBC, I'm from <laughs> this, I'm from that, even not. Then Jeremy is secretary's number, which was even worse. She was. It was better to talk to Shikhar than the secretary. You could not get in touch with the secretary. So then I took contact Ravi Mantha thanks to Facebook, and that's how it happened. Ravi Mantha really helped me. I mean, th- that shows how much passion uh, passion you had about it. You're trying every solution, yeah, every once way. Yeah, like once I know the character, then I mean, me and my wife go behind it anyhow. Because we, like I said, uh, I, I always said that, that I always wanted to retire at the age of 45. I had done, I had written, I had worked at a top job. I had made enough money. I wanted to leave Bombay and go to, where I stay in Mumbai and go to a hill station and start gardening. And my wife was okay with it. And, <laughs> And now, basically, like, it's like how people want to do gardening and live, even they retire and play golf. I'm making films there. So I'm enjoying making films. And rather I do the films that I want to make. So it's like a, it's a retired life is you're, you're living, you're enjoying making, doing what it is. Of course, of and course. And, the best and, thing. and of course, there's a romantic part to that film as yeah. well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how, yes, exactly. So how, how, was it easy choosing who you're going to choose? Uh, choosing what? Sorry, I didn't get the the, the 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 romantics, uh, the, the the romantic like Jyotika and uh, Alaya Efra in there. Was it uh, difficult choosing which one to choose as his wife? No, no, Jyotika is his teacher. She's not the romantic part. In fact, she's uh, like a mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al- Alaya, Al- Alaya, Alaya, yes, is the romantic, which is true. Swati is wife. Now he's married and he has a kid, and his name his name is daughter Nitya, which means eyesight. And uh, so that's a fact part. So we got Alaya. Alaya heard the Nana, sorry. And uh, 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 Alaya, when I met her, she knew I did just narrate the story and she didn't care the script. She said, I want to be a part of this film. Similarly, uh, Jyotika said, I just, in one day, she said, I want to be a part of this film once they knew the story. So yeah. I realized that these are people who have enough excitement like I do about this. So it's going to be great. Sharad, in fact, when I told him, he obviously has a price, but because my budget, I could not afford him. He yeah. said, so we need the script. The next day, Bhushan Kumar, our producer, called me and said, Sharad is doing the film for 101 rupees. I don't think anyone in the industry would do that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> These are amazing facts. And it's and it's so feels so real to speak to you who are so real as well. It's absolutely and amazing. And also came on board just immediately. So it just, people just were excited to do it. And you can, that what shows on the, on the screen. And of course, great reviews. We wish you all the best. It's been Thank wonderful. You. I'm so excited to see this movie because it's so real as well. What's next, though, before you go? <laughs> Which, yeah, who's... Uh, so we are making a film on the uh, first batch of Indian Army ladies. The first okay. ladies of the Indian Army. It's called okay. Lagra. It's based on Anuja Patma's life. And uh, okay. it's on 25 okay. ladies. We met, uh, we met the ladies and we are making it on that. No, look forward to that one too as well. All the best. Again, it, there will be, again, I like I always fictionize things and dramatize it and it will be entertaining. So it will be that. I'm sure Pakka. I just want to tell you when you see this film, Srikant, please go tell your family, please tell your friends because it's a movie that they will all enjoy and, and really enjoy and be entertained in a very clean manner, very healthy manner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in London, we are the largest UK radio network. We have three radio stations, so we're covering London and Manchester. So you and we are talking about Srikanth. Our presenters are talking about it all the time. So you are already getting a, a good, like, broadcasting sort of like uh, reviews and and promotion on it. Anyway, wish you all the best. Good luck, and we'll talk next time for your next movie. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Take care.